Hey guys, good morning. This is Erin from Earth Healer Movement. This is actually Fabletics. New day, new fit. It's a little tight. This is Fabletics also. It's a short with pockets and a V kind of front. So it's more like slimming looking. Snatches your waist. So, things going on in my mind this morning. Things I was researching before I woke up because my body needs to like, my brain and my body need to be in sync before I wake up. So my brain wakes up first and then my body is like the last to want to wake up and get out of bed. <laughs> but, um... Today is Monday, so I worked hard all weekend. Still haven't taken my son to school yet, but at this point, he's missed so many days that he's just skipping periods again, which this is like the natural progression of the school year for him. And he's sick again. So he gets sick. He misses days. And then he just decides not to go. Or like, why bother getting up? I'm sure that's what he's thinking. And I don't know what's going on in the school. So I try. And he just won't do it. So at this point, it's like... He's not graduating from high school, so it's like literally, it's his senior year and he, he's, he, there's no possibility of him graduating, so it's like, it is what it is. At this point, there's not a lot I can do, and that's not the end of the world, but our society makes us believe that it's the end of the world, which is insane. Cause I was going kind of crazy at first, like anger and um, just trying to lecture him and trying to do anything I could, but that just wasn't the case for him. He's extremely smart. And that's probably one of the problems in the pandemic just um, really affected him. <sighs> he's a cancer, so he's real sensitive and he's super intelligent. So it's like, that's how he coped with the pandemic was like shutting down and kind of rebelling against me, <laughs> my throat chakra. I shouldn't be talking about him. Like that's how I feel when I'm talking about people. Like I'm like, oh my God, I shouldn't be talking about them. <sighs> Cause I don't know if they want me to talk about them. Probably not, but I'm trying to just show the realness of myself and this whole movement and that these problems that I'm going through and how I'm dealing with them and overcoming them and how my mindset is and helping other people. It's going out into the ethers to the collective because um, I'm speaking it out loud. It's more powerful. I'm a healer and a spiritual teacher, so it's my job and my duty as a human being to do this. So I try not to talk about 
things that might upset people in my life. Um, but <laughs> they do things to upset me, like not go to school. So, I mean, it's a, it becomes part of my life in, in a negative way. And sometimes I just need to be able to talk about it and help other people with that information that I'm getting. Like make, turn lemons into lemonade, like use it for something good. Transmute the energy. That's what I do. I'm an energy conductor and I'm taking that bad energy, soaking it in, which I don't want to, fixing it, transmuting it, putting sugar in good, healthy vibes into it, which sugar is not like healthy, but that's how you make lemonade. That's my analogy. So I didn't use my meaningful beauty. I put concealer on, but I didn't put my meaningful beauty on yet. So I'm going to use some meaningful beauty melon serum. This is probably going to mess up my, my concealer, but I just want to put some nutrients into my skin. I'm going to put this neck and decollete cream. Things are a little hectic with finances, but I I can start paying some bills. I haven't gotten my new washer and dryer yet. I have to sell the other ones. And my prospects kind of like, I don't know if they're around anymore for buying them because they were going low, they were lowballing the price. And then I told them I would let them know by Friday. But they extended it till Wednesday. So I wanted to see if I can get any buddy to buy it by Wednesday at the full price. So hopefully those other people like are still there if I don't get the full price. But they might have already gotten a washer and dryer by then. I don't know. Okay, so it'll all work out the way it's supposed to. Okay, no need to stress. All right, I'm gonna do my foundations. Milk by Morphe, two pumps of that, because I'm pale, palish. Superstay 220, 220. And then this honey, I call it like a, it's 500. I never really said what this was because I never really tried to look at it. I just got it off clearance. So it's just a dark for my spray tans and just for the summertime, just to mix it, to make it like more of like a tan skin tone. So I'm not so pale. And it can match my spray tan. And I can like customize it, mixing it. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with, I was being guided to powder, but then I was being told to do contour. So 
also blend it a little bit. Don't forget to blend. <laughs> You don't want to walk around with like a line under your nose all day or like a line under your chin all day. fades away when I put my lipstick on. I'm hearing like, um, most people are too afraid to take risks. Like, they're afraid of putting color on their face or like lips, like trying different things because they're afraid of failure. And they're afraid of messing up. And they're afraid of losing money and looking funny to other people. But I don't have those issues. Because that's trauma. So I'm going into my Morphe face palette here with some bronzer. I'm just tapping on both. And then Going like a little above that contour line and into the contour line. Up. Trying to make my cheeks like more rounded looking. Okay, so put some under the jawline and a little bit down. And then I'm gonna grab my other brush that's like slanted. I'm gonna put it into the the um, contour color, which has more grays. And this creates more of a shadow because of the grays in it. My favorite part lately is like my blush and my eyeshadow, but the color part of it. Okay. I think I'm gonna do Berry Amore, cause look at the color of my shorts. It's like literally the same thing. Look at that. So very close. And I'm using, like, I'm wearing light colors, so I'm using, like, lighter blushes and stuff. If I have dark colors, I'll probably be using, like, different blushes, like, like a darker blush, you know, like, but using more, like, layering technique. I just had to like put that color. Okay, I'm being guided to this color. This is the ColourPop Ritz. I'm just gonna rub my finger on this and put it on 
as a base. This is like sparkle, like creamy brownish. Really has a lot of light pigment, pigment in it, which is perfect with this top. Ooh, I got a huge piece that fell on my face. That's weird. If it's cream, it's like weird that it like went on my, unless I touched it. So now I gotta put more foundation right there. Hmm. Did I use this? I can't remember. I didn't use my Laura Mercier translucent powder. So I put some in the brush. In the lid, I meant. I gotta fix that. I think it's okay now. I'll just use some of this brightening up powder. Powder to like dull that shiny part down. Oh my god, what is going on? This like broke, it cracked, and chunks fell out just now. Hmm. Cracks in the foundation. A weakening of the foundation. <laughs> okay, I gotta clean this up. Just like a tiny bit came off. Okay. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. this Maybelline brow pencil. I like this blush color too. This one on this palette. The one at the end. Hmm. Love it. Love that worked so so good, so good. Okay, I also like, um, I think this is All That Glitters by MAC. I'm gonna put that like on the edge and up.
Whoa. I was thinking about... <laughs> I was thinking too much and I wasn't like looking at what I was, or like <sighs> paying attention to what I was doing. Now I got like eyeshadow in my eye. open up this palette here this morphe palette fall into frost it's the first day of fall or yesterday was i need to get my watch i think it's the first day of fall today or yesterday was Today's the 23rd. So these are going out late. Later, like a week or an, and a half late or something. Later than I film it. Hmm. I'm gonna try to fix that with some concealer. Oh yeah, what I was researching and stuff this morning, which I think that's the problem with me, is um, with my back or my lumbar issues and stuff, is um, a def vitamin deficiency of B1. And I have B, um, a B vitamin that I was taking not not very often because I found out that if it's like the manufactured kind I don't know I watched a video about it a long time ago and I can't I don't know where it is I probably saved it which I could probably go check it out like look in my files but I haven't yet um but I was learning more about it because I wanted to see if new videos would talk about it, but I didn't hear them talk about it. Um, I'm trying to cover up that like sparkly spot on my face right here. <laughs> but let me just tell you what I remember because I don't remember like exact details of it, but um, you have to get the right kind of B vitamin, the B1, because if you don't, it can cause, do the opposite. It can harm your nervous system. So it could have been like a combination of both. Like I was using the wrong B vitamin complex and I was deficient in it. And then also my diet, the way, and my drinking iced tea all the time and sugar having, well, I didn't have sugars at that time. But before then I did. So I could have at the time of my injury been having sugar as well. Yeah, the Dutch bros and stuff. 
So that in combination with those vitamins as well, um, there's like this coating on your nerves, this like fat coating that like dissipates because of there's a bunch of acids in your system. I'm hearing lactic acid buildup with the confirmation. And so the acids are eating away at the fat of your um, nerve, the nerves fat called like myelin or something like that. So I need to take, I'll let you guys know I'm going to figure it out today. Um, so this nerve pain or this problem that I'm having goes away. So I can actually work out and like not have like nerve pain. And it's a very common problem. So that's probably why I'm having it or experiencing it because as an earth angel prophet, I'm helping people get healthy and stuff. So, um, that's part of my development and to my training for being a healer is to experience the problems. And of course we're all experiencing them, but then having the solution to help people fix the problem, like getting the word out or whatever. I'm going to put some of this Then I'm going to take a small brush and I'm going to take that same color and I'm going to go under. I'm getting really hot right now again. So I get these little hot waves. It's a spiritual thing that I'm experiencing a lot when I do these videos. I never experience these little, well, I might. But, but it's very short and quick, little bursts of like heat. Could be my age, but it could also be spiritual symptoms that a woman gets like more intuitive as they get older, especially after like menopause and stuff. So your psychic abilities just, you're like more powerful, like wise, the wise one. Oh my God. I'm wearing these like Birkenstock looking pillow slides that are cream that I got from Nordstrom Rack. I'm going to do some spray, setting spray. That feels good. All right, so let's see. I was being told to put some of this one, the Melba. Yes, this is so good. Look at next to these shorts. It's literally the same. So how many blushes have I used? Perfect. It's really hot. So outside it is 79 degrees, but it's been like in the 90s. So the heat like just kind of builds in my room. 
And then also, it's a combination of things. Okay, so yeah, the B vitamin deficiency. So I'm hearing bromelain. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. So there's thiamine and then there's bromelain, which is bromelain is like way better at um, fixing the nerve, the myelin damage on the nerve. Okay, so I'm going to go in with some eyeliner. I really like using this color. It's like a brick color. And I like to just create a wing, especially with these shorts, like it matches the color. Usually I don't go to the center, but like to the inside corner of my eye, but I was being guided to do that. So if you could see that, and then I'm gonna do my mascara. Oops. Yeah, I think it's been like a month and a half doing these videos like every day. That's crazy. It doesn't seem like that long. I have to go and like count and see. I kind of try to. <laughs> it's almost like I have ADHD because I have so much stuff going on that I just kind of jump around to what I'm doing. But that's because my momentum, my high frequency it's like this electrical charge inside of me. Like I need to be doing all these things. Oh yeah, I bought products to sell for Amazon last night after I did DoorDash all day. It's a Sunday. I've been feeding myself like really good. I'm like spoiling myself. Oh yeah, I also read about like glucose levels and how you don't want glucose spikes in your day. So try not to eat any sugary things during breakfast time or like heavy breads and stuff. Like how I was eating like croissants or like, you know, any kind of like bread is not really good because it spikes your glucose and then you're gonna crave sugars all day or be hungry all day. But it's kind of hard to do that when you're super busy. So I'm not doing a great job because I had to catch up on my money. I still see the sparkle right here. I don't think I can get it off. I my oh i forgot this had like crumbs on it i'm gonna throw them away like just dump out the crumbs in the garbage because it was like big chunks like fell off of this um i was gonna put some on my face to try to cover up that sparkle right here doesn't matter Nobody notices but me. So it's just kind of weird looking. But I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I 
as soon as you let go of the negativity, but positivity just flows. Okay, I think I want to do the dewy finish setting spray now. Yeah, I have kind of a dewy finish because of all the sparkle. I love it. Absolutely loving it. No cap.